Hello, my name is Emerson Johnson. I'm 17 years old and I'll be attending HBC this fall. Mental health is a major health related issue that is oftentimes ignored in the black community. According to mentalhealthamerica.org, 13.4% of our nation identifies as black. And of that 13%, 16% have reported to be battling some type of mental health illness in the last year. This equals around 7 million people. And according to the USC.edu, most of the mental health issues in the black community are a direct result of systemic racism and psychological stress from this racism. And studies have shown that African-American adults are 20 more, 20% 20 more likely to report psychological distress than white people. But even then, only one in three African-Americans are going to receive proper treatment. So why is that? Well, we cannot talk about tackling mental health issues if we don't talk about destigmatizing the cultural narrative that we have placed as a community on mental health issues. Stop calling it a weakness, stop calling it you're tired, stop calling it your stress, and stop brushing it under a rug. Show, we can stop this by education. We can go out to our communities to educate what mental health illnesses actually are and what are the proper ways to treat them. Another way we can do this is by showcasing representation. Not only showcasing, oh, someone is still thriving and they have anxiety or depression, but showcasing representation in the healthcare field. Because oftentimes, African Americans do not trust the healthcare systems due to racial disparities in the health field. If we go to usc.edu, studies have pointed out that we do have a reason to not trust the American health system because oftentimes we are misdiagnosed or our health issues are ignored at a much higher rate than our white co-parts. Personally, my aspirations are to become a psychiatrist. And what I wanna do with that is not only go out to my black community, but because I have the opportunity and I am bilingual, I can speak to the Hispanic community as well and all communities of color. And I want to educate them and help get their personal journey of success. Once I become a psychiatrist, I plan on running a night clinic because financial barriers are another thing that may play a key role into why someone doesn't seek out for help. Not wanting to take off because it's, a, it's not a physical pain. And most mental breakdowns happen at night. As a future practitioner, my job is to not serve myself, but to serve my community. It is about using the position that I am to help uplift others. And my job is to set people on the right path. I like to live by the quote of Maya Angelou, when you get, give, and when you learn, teach. And once I figure out this journey called life, I won't bask in my accomplishments. I'll figure out a way to help the next generation of people of color get to my level or even surpass me because my success is way bigger than me. Thank you for considering me. You all have a great day.